greatest thing known as that gods dwell on earth. Heavenly, magical, mystical, nature is based. And in the lap of Himalayas lie the alpine zone that is mother to one of the world's natural beauties, the valley. closed 
so they were compelled to ascend down the Bhumihar Valley. There was a route for Badrinath via Kuntkhar. Suddenly, cloud disappeared and revealed alpine meadows spread across with wild flowers. There, Primula, asters, wild roses, and many other beautiful flowers greeted them. The many hundreds of flowering species led Smite to come and join this Bhumdiya Valley again later in 1937 and refer to the valley as the Valley of Flowers. Drawn by the irresistible lure of the place, Smite revisited in 1937 and published a book, The Valley of Flowers, celebrating the beauty of this extraordinary valley. In the book, he sings his admiration like one who has been truly awestruck by the deepness of his experience. John Margaret Lake, in June 1939, as a botanist in the Royal Botanical Garden in England, she empowered to complete Smite's work on the flora of the valley. Smite's previous work on the valley was not sufficient for a scientific research. Unfortunately, during her collection of the flowers, she fell down from a cliff and died. This memorial stone over her grave was later placed here in 1941, when her elder sister came here just to collect her works and other goods. The scripture at her tomb bears a shining great faith in the Himalayas and its enchanting beauty. The scripture still today motivates a lot of tourists to join this valley repeatedly and depicts a great faith for the pristine nature. In Hindu mythology, the valley has been described as Nandan Khan, associating with Garden of Lord Indra in Paradise. Beside the Valley of Flowers, there is a holy shrine in Kunsan, six kilometer upwards from Khangaria. Local and old name for this place is Lok Park. Guru Gobind Singh, the tenth guru of Sikh religion, meditated here in his previous birth as in Dusthadama. This place is associated with Lakshman, brother of Lord Ram, who is said to have meditated on the banks of Hemkul. Now, there is a little known Hindu temple, Lokpal, dedicated to Lakshman, stands beside a magnificent Sikh shrine. The main portion of the valley runs in the east-west direction along the river Pushpavati. The central valley is about 10 kilometers square. River Pushpavati originates from the left bank of Tipra Glacier near Bhumdiya Khan, flows down through the valley and joins Lakshman Ganga and Khangaria to form Bhumda River. This river drains into Alaknanda, a tributary of Ganges at Govindkant, about 12 kilometers downstream. A total of 521 species of vascular plants are recorded and identified within the National Park. Most of the tourists visit the Valley of Flowers in the months of July and August. As most of the visitors are limited by time, it is not possible for them to see the whole range of habitat types and floral diversity of the park described in the different literatures. This documentary gives you an idea how to see the valley in its natural habitat. It is impossible to summarize all the species found in the valley. So, we shall give you a brief account of the flora of this valley within its other adjoining valleys. Animon, a beautiful white flower. This is the full patch of Animon near Lege's memorial stone. Angelica, a nicely crowned flower. See the sky through the flower bunch. It seems that you are touching the sky. The local name is Cholu. 
roots used in cure for food poisoning and in woman vigor. Balsam, impatient species. A very common flower species. During the monsoon, the whole valley is covered with this beautiful Gul Mehendi flower. The pink flower decorate the valley with the pink color. For the phylum, Hexandrum, Bankakari, a highly medicinal plant. Seeds of this plant are used in cancer and breathing problems. Petula utilis. The inner bark of this plant is used in the making of medicines for indigestion and flotulence. The outer bark in ancient times used in the making of paper for writing epics. Most of the Vedas are written on the bark of this tree. The local name of this tree is Bhojapatra. Sosuriya of Velata, state flower of Uttarakhand, locally known as Brahmakamal. It is very common all around the Helkund Lake during the monsoons. The fragrance of this flower is also very pleasant. Others are Gossipifora, Graminifolia, Costus, Simpsoniana. The flower part of this plant is used in reproductive disorders. Kaltha palustris is the early growing flower after the first snow melts. Commonly germinates near the marshy areas, so also called marsh marigold. The floral part is used in anemia, warts, and in tincture. Campanula latifolia. Common name for this flower is large bell flower. June last to mid August is very abundant. When the wind blows, the whole colony of bell flower, it seems that they are dancing with the wind. Common names for these plants are cobra lily, most abundant, three kilometers before Hungaria. For the person encountering for the first time with this plant, may cause a fear of snake between the bushes or near tree trunks. Unfortunately, so many visitors pluck it for ornamenting their bags of bottles. Goldheria trichophilia. These blue colored fruits are used as a medicine for wounds and cuff. It smells like eucalyptus. Geranium valichiana, a very common plant species in the Valley of Flowers, commonly known as Ratijari or Sora. The roots and leaves are used in the making of medicines for headache, rheumatic pain, and for wounds. Hakelia uncinata. The common name for this blue colored flower is Forget Me Not. It is very common throughout the route to the Valley of Flowers. Dictyloriza hatasilia. Hatajati is its common name. The shape of the root of this plant is just like a human hand showing the finger type of growth. This is highly medicinal and a charm of interest for the poachers. The tubers of this plant is used in tonics. It is an aphrodisiac and the local remedy for the wounds. Jatamasi, the rhizome of this plant is used in preparing scented alabati and hoop. Medicinal use is in epilepsy and hysteria, locally known as masi. Meganopsis aculita, blue poppy, Queen of the Himalayan flowers. Not so common on valley slopes, but very common on Hemkund root. A nice blue colored tender flower with sharp horns and mostly abundant in rocky areas. The beautiful orchids are also seen and sighted. They are Cypripedium, Himalayacum, Galanthi, Malaxicus, and most common, Hatazilia. Rium emoti, tholu, and Rium vabiana, archa. Roots of these plants are very effective in internal injuries and in headache. Rhododendrons, brilliant red and sometimes pink. Flowers bloom in March, April, adding vivid splashes of color to the forest. This is the period when local people pluck and prepare from it a nice, sweet, and healthy juice. This juice is highly medicinal in properties and works as a blood purifier. Common name for this plant is Silphari. Most common near the retreating avalanche, used for curing gold stones. Splitago virgoria, the golden rod is its common name. This plant is diuretic and 
medicines prepared from it cures cysatrias, the old cancer medicine. Viola biflora. The roots and flowers of this plant are emetic, diaphrotic, and antispasmodic agents. Hippophae tibetana is a nice source of vitamin C. It grows throughout the Bhumbia Valley, mostly near river banks or near water reservoirs. The local people use it as a chutney in their daily food habits. Pyomi, this very common flower shows its presence in folk songs of Uttarakhand and throughout the land area ranging up to 1,800 meters. So many folk songs are in the air praising the beauty of the beloved maid comparing with this flower. Having intensive tourism and pilgrim activities since 1976, the whole trek route and its subways were dumped with plastic garbage. The 19-kilometer trek from Govind Ghat to Hemkur Saab was so polluted that one can easily see the impact of plastic trashes on the vegetation. This conditioning was a land. Then the people of Bhundar village came together and made an NGO known as Eco Development Committee to protect this area. With the help of responsible forest officials, the villagers started a new revolution for conserving their Bhundar valley. Now, there are EDC offices at Kangaria and Pulna as well. During the season, the office is mainly concerned for the proper management of the entire trek route, registration of all pony keepers and shopkeepers. For every one kilometer trek, two sweepers are administered and equipped by the EDC for removing horse dung and other plastic scraps. There are pits throughout the route to dump the biodegradable wastes and waste yards to deposit plastic screen bags. And later, these bags are sent back to Golden Cart on ponies to a main garbage collection center. And from here, a journey for recycling begins. Every year, the EDC collects 14,000 to 16,000 bags, that is, at least 60 tons of plastic waste from this 19 kilometer trip. Most common species found in the valley are geranium, balsam, anemone, epilobium, and polygonum. Other beautiful flower species germinate, flower, and seed in between these common flower species. From May to September, the valley changes its hue so many times, starting from barren brown colors of May to green in June, pink in July white in August, and again barren brown in September. With the change of seasons, the valley also changes its hue and fragrance. With every two or three weeks gap, the valley looks different, and the process continues throughout the year. Here, nature shows its beauty in full swing. It seems that nature has gifted all its precious ornaments to this valley. The glittering raindrops clung with the leaves of Rosa Macrophylla gives a feel of the heavenly stars of the night. Thus, it is impossible to elaborate its enchanting beauty in a few words. One who joins the valley can only be definitely in a condition to feel the essence of the valley with its flowers. The alpine meadows are often viewed as important grazing resources by local and migratory pastoral communities 